It's me, Mario. It's me, Mario. Hello. Wahoo. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Hey everybody, welcome to the stream and welcome to Super Mario 64. Yep, every time I play a Mario game, gotta put on the hat and mustache. <laughs> Let's see, everything looking good, sounding good, should be. But yeah, <sighs> this game, kind of hard to convey how amazing it was to see Mario in 3D for the first time, you know? I actually remember the first time I, I saw it, uh, I think it was on, hey, out, it was in a mall. I saw it on a TV of a window of a shop, I think it was an electronic shop or a computer store or something, and they were playing this exact footage, I and mean, they left the game running. Start to play. So yeah, I just stood there just watching the watching the screen looking, whoa, this is Mario in 3D? I mean, of course, I had played the Mario 1 and, and 3 back in the day, I think I played it a little bit of 2, but I owned 1 and, and 3, uh, and yeah, I... I Never owned a Super Nintendo, so but it was a very big jump from Mario 3 straight to this one. This, yeah, this floating Mario head kind of reminds me of a. I think I remember seeing it on TV where they, I think they used, a, um, they used a, a rig. Yeah, it was a, some concert or something where they showed on the big screen the uh, Mar floating Mario head controlled by uh, Charles Martinet wearing this helmet weird ri helmet rig too so he would the face would move while when he spoke hello party on earth welcome so yeah I'm describing my 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 history with this game and yeah of course well, as soon as I saw this uh, my mind just raced uh, in, in thinking whoa what what else could what 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 would this in the game look like in 3D? What would that look like in 3D? Like you know, I mean even even with these very few polygons and 2D sprites, it still felt like you were look, peering into like the world of Mario. You know, I mean, I mean though yeah, the Mario's world was kind of already realized in cartoon form. I, I yeah, I actually saw I watched the Super Mario Super Show back in the day. But this, seeing it in, in like 3D and you, you could actually like control a, a screen and, and control a camera, it really felt more real, you know? Fresh start to play. Yeah, kind of, like I said, the kids, maybe kids seeing this today might not realize how big of a, of a, how amazing it looked. I mean, even, even with these few polygons, it still looked real enough. <laughs> and yeah, uh, as soon as I, as soon as I could, I, well, I got, uh, I still have the Nintendo 64. Actually, I actually like the, the, the design of the console a lot of, I heard some people think, oh, it looks like a toy, like Fisher Price toy or something, but no, it actually looked kind of futuristic back in the day, like cool. And in fact, <laughs> funny story, the first time I, I, first time I played this game was actually in black and white because uh, well, games in Brazil were actually very expensive. The way you could get them a little cheaper was to have someone buy them in the US and then bring them uh, in their luggage. So I had a cousin who lived in the US buy it for me and she brought it to me in her luggage. Uh, the thing is, TVs here back in the day mostly used the PAL-M format and so... Uh, yeah, the American consoles, when you plugged an American console, which was, what, uh, NTSC, I think? Is this the N64 play? No, this is, uh, I, I'm playing this on the Wii Virtual Console. So I'll be using this instead. Yeah, I don't have a, the, the capture card necessary to capture original consoles, otherwise I would play it on original hardware. Because, yeah, my 16, Nintendo 64 still works. And I still have the original, the original game. Uh, and yeah, when I, well, the thing is, yeah, when you played uh, an American console, you plugged it into a, a TV that only had a PAL M support, it would show up in black and white. So yeah, the first time I booted up this game, as soon as I got the console, was I played it in black and white. It wasn't until later that where he got a TV that had multiple uh, support. It actually accepted both 
PAL M N NTSC uh, uh, formats so I could play it in color. <laughs> yeah, I still still have everything I can get. Yeah, all the all the all the documents and the manual still here. Yeah. Look at this. So we got the player's manual. <laughs> oh. And of course the, the cartridge itself. Although it Yeah, this I, I'm going to be attempting to get the 120 stars, but this is not the first time I did it. I actually did get 120 stars on the cartridge, but I think there was some error or something that erased my save <laughs> in the cartridge. <laughs> Well, so yeah, I want to do it again on stream this time. Still have a couple controllers as well. The original N64 controller with, with the trident, as they call it, I think. <laughs> so yeah, the, the way you're supposed to play this monstrosity... I mean, you, could, you can play this. Uh, there are a couple of games that supported this D-pad. I think in Mortal Kombat 4, you could play it like this. But most of the games you're supposed to play like this with. But the way I played it was with this hand. I think it was because of the trigger. I like using the trigger with my dominant hand. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a right hand. Uh, but so I played it like this, controlled it like this, and then used the, put my other fingers of, over the over my head, my hand, played it like this. So yeah, this is how this is how I played Nintendo 64 games like Mario 64. This game over. <laughs> We're using the pressing the buttons and then this game controlling this hand controlling. I mean, yeah, nowadays you're supposed to do it the opposite way with using your left hand or the left hand to control the joystick and the right hand to control the buttons. I did it invertedly. I think probably it was because of uh, GoldenEye 64 that I, or GoldenEye uh, 007 that I did it. I also had this cool purple transparent controller. So long, Oh, yeah. Hmm. Press start to play. Okay, I will. Actually, but first, we gotta we gotta do this. Play around in Mario's head. Come on. If you if you don't do anything, he falls asleep, and you see the other footage. But if you move the mouse, wait, wait, wait. he stays awake, and you can play with his head. Yeah. How do you do it again? Uh, oh, let's... oh, here you go. <laughs> you have a big nose. I think you help. Yeah, you hold the R to. If you hold the R, the R button, it stays in, in place. <laughs> oh yeah, that was pretty fun. I think I remember doing this with uh, his mustache. Putting, putting his cheeks. Wait, come on. Put them all the way up here. <laughs> Looks like he's wearing some weird sunglasses. <laughs> and then you let go. It... <laughs> His eyes follow your, your cursor. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I'm not done. Ooh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh yeah, you can have a lot of fun with it. just playing around. But yeah, let's go. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly. Princess Toadstool. Peach. I was like, Peach? Who's Peach? Yeah, this is the first time I actually heard her say her name. <laughs> Until now, she was always Princess Toadstool in the, in the manuals of Mario 1 and, and Mario uh, 3. I don't know if there, she was called Peach in, in uh, Mario World, but uh, actually, it was quite a while until I played Mario World. I didn't play it until after this, so, so yeah. 
I think at one point I, I thought her name was Daisy because of the Daisy in, in Super Mario Land. I, th I, th I thought they were the, th the same princess. <laughs> Yahoo! <laughs> and they used the name Daisy in the, the Super Mario Brothers movie as well, so okay. The princess's name is Daisy, but then comes this coming along and it's Peach? Wait, what? I mean, Daisy is an actual name, but I have never heard anyone called Peach. Cow! You've reached Princess Toad's Toad Castle via a warp pipe. Using the controller is a piece of cake. Press A to jump and B to attack. Press B to read signs. Press B to read signs too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now head for the castle. Well, yeah, this is also the first time you actually got to see what Princess Peach, I guess, what her castle looks like. And this, yeah, the design was kind of or established in this game and then reused in the future games but I don't yeah I don't think they they really showed it uh, in other games before this one they did show it in, in Mario Kart 64 but it, it, that game came after this so yeah this is the first time Can you get a little reaccustomed to the controls here Ah, uh, here you go, this, the gate that only opens, the gate to the cannon that only opens after you've completed, hundred. you've gotten all 120 stars, you can shoot up at the castle. Uh, swimming lesson, step A to, to do the breaststroke, if you, if you time the taps right, you'll swim fast. Press and hold A to do a slow, steady flutter kick, press up on the control to dive and pull back the stick head to, yeah inverted controls in the water okay. remember mario can't breathe under the water return to the surface for the air when the power meter runs low unless he gets coins then he can breathe under water <laughs> one last thing you can't open doors that are underwater okay. i mean there's that weird uh, thing that you can do in the game where if you if you are in the if you're underwater and if you press pull pull if you push down without swimming he'll just hold stand upside down in the water and somehow he can still breathe oh yeah mario can breathe his with his feet apparently there we go. yeah it's fun to play around with, with a game like that oh yeah, oh yeah. Triple jump. And... Okay, enough messing around. And here he comes, the in con the in-game explanation to why there's a camera following Mario around. <laughs> Good afternoon, the Lakitu brothers here, reporting live from just outside the princess's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. As seasoned cameraman, we'll be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle by pressing the C buttons. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll, we'll buzz. To so take a look at the surrounding stop and press C. C up. Press A to resume play. Switch camera modes with the R button. Uh, signs along the way will, will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lakito Brothers. Yeah, there's... I guess I'm, I'm a, I guess I'm a celebrity here and there's a reporter following me around. <laughs> Very creepy. <laughs> Welcome. No one's home. Now scram. And don't come back. <laughs> ah, the classic classic tune so yeah I'm gonna try I, I want to try and get maybe all available stars in this area maybe yeah maybe I'll, I'll, I'll split the stream into three parts first part uh, this area then second part the basement and then third part the tower maybe end it with the with a Bowser battle after, after everything hey look told in 3d as well Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, they, they, I think he had this these colors in in Mario's world, right? I don't remember because yeah, in, in 
in Mario in, in Mario One and Mario Two, he was a little different. But once again, the, this kind of establishes his size, I guess, compared to Mario. <laughs> yeah, let's see what he has to. I'm glad to see you, the princess. <laughs> I'm not going to to do voice. Everybody, we're trapped inside the castle walls. Alzar has stolen the castle stars and he's using the power to create his own world in the paintings and walls. Please recover the power stars. As you find them, you can use their power to open the doors that Bowser has sealed. There are four rooms on the first floor, starting star, start in the one with the painting of bob -Omb inside. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. When you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with the big star. Princess must be inside. Okay. <laughs> Turn jump. Uh, yeah, I still remember the control. It's been a while since I last played this. Uh, I think I yeah, I think I last played this like a year ago. Yeah. <laughs> it's where they included the original Mario theme. Big Bob -omb on the Sonic. Whoa, you're smack in the middle of, a, of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the paint, painting worlds. First, talk to the bob -omb buddy. Press B to talk. He will certainly help you out. And so will his comrades in the other areas. To read signs, stop, then stop, then face and face them and press B. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing B. Yeah, yeah because if I, if I don't stop and I press B, I, I dive <laughs> into into the ground, so you gotta remember to stop and then press <laughs> Watch out! If you wander around here, you're liable to be plastered by a water bomb. Those enemy bob -omb's love to fight, and they're always finding ways to attack. This meadow has become a battlefield ever since the big bob -omb got his paws on the power star. Can you recover the star for us? Cross the bridge and go left up the path to find the big bob -omb. Please come back to see me after you've retrieved the power star. <laughs> Okay, now the real Mario 64 starts here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll read every sign explaining how to play them. I mean, I still, I still remember how. Oh. And yeah, what? Hello. Ooh. Yeah, Bob Bomb's in 3D and yeah, the chain shop in 3D much bigger than he was in the previous games. Ow. Very terrifying. Yikes. Ow. Oh, there are the water bombs <laughs> mentioned. Yeah, let's just go straight for the first first star. Why not? I think this yeah, this starts with only two two balls, but then they I think they yeah. When we go back here, I think that there are three balls there. Ow! How oh, dare you? Time to two triple jumps here. I don't know what's about Mario's happy like. Sounds kind of makes you makes you makes you feel. I guess it makes it feels like Mario is having fun, which in turn makes you feel like you're having fun. I don't know. It's kind of kind of affects you the way he, he the way he screams like that when he jumps. You know? Maybe it's subliminal or something. Yahoo! <laughs> Hello. I'm the Big bob -omb, Lord of all blasting matters. King of kabooms the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountaintop? You may have el eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. 
If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this hurl me to this royal turf? I think you cannot. Yeah, the <laughs> typical uh, video game villain that explains exactly how you can just defeat him. <laughs> was, I, was I the only one who thought the, the big white thing in, on, in front of his face was a big smile? I mean, I know now there's, it's supposed to be like big white mustache, but for some reason I thought it was it was like a, a weird smile. Doesn't it look like it? Yeah, kind of funny that the only things in his body that are 3D are his his uh, must mustache, his shoes, and his crown. Everything else is a 2D sprite. Uh, okay. And yeah, I think probably many, many like many of you, I've, 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 I tried uh, uh, throwing him off the mountain. Didn't work, he just jumps back, right back. Yeah, it just feels natural to do that, doesn't it? Like, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to, like, damage him and fall from this height should damage him way more. Uh, let's see. Is the game audio too loud, by the way? I kind of wondered. Uh, I did put, put it lower than usual. You must fight with honor. It is against the royal rules to throw the king out of the ring. Hey, other fighting games have a ring out. Why doesn't it this one? <laughs> but yeah, he starts out pretty slow. You can easily uh, go behind him, but I think that after you throw him at once, he turns a little faster, so it becomes a little harder to get behind him. Yeah, look at that. down a little bit. Okay. okay, now he stopped turning fast for some reason. Come here. Yeah. Oh, I can also do... Wait, what? Not the... Not the... Uh... What? Haha. <laughs> yeah, do the backflip. What? What? Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the bob -omb king? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Oh, thanks for letting me know how to defeat him. <laughs> Methinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here's your star, as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select this star from the menu. For now, farewell. I've always seen Mario do that in, in like uh, this the v victory pose in uh, posters and car drawings. But <laughs> you've recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Try the princess's room on the second floor and the room with the painting of Womp's fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for stars. Who's, who's talking, by the way? Is it, is it the princess? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's go back and get get another star already. Hello, S Steve Massart. <laughs> Foot race with Koopa the Quick. And yeah, the first time we also see uh, what a Koopa Trooper looks like in 3D. Which, yeah, again, a lot bigger than expected. <laughs> hey Mario, it's true that you beat, beat the big bob -omb? Cool. You must be strong and pretty fast, so how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me, Koopa the Quick? I don't think so, just try me. How about a race to the mountaintop, where the big bob -omb was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? You're on. Wait, uh... Wait, uh... Like... Yeah, long jump, here we go. Yeah, a little, a little too hard to... Press the button. You really want to press the R button? Wait, let me. Wait, wait. Ah, switch. 
No, I didn't mean to. Didn't mean to switch the camera. Hang on, I can still catch up. Catch up to you. Now, long jump. Whoa! <laughs> Ow! Yeah, press the wrong, press the wrong button. I wonder, can I climb up here? Ah, uh, never mind. See, I, I said I was. There are going to be three balls here. It's I could take this that teleport area there and cheat, but no. Yeah. Ow. Okay, I got. It. I really gotta press the the Z button a little before a little before the jump button. Otherwise, you do a the ground pound instead of the long jump. Okay, yeah, I lost. If the timer, if the timer stopped, that means he already reached the top. Wait, do, do I think I, yeah, do I lose a life if I lose the race? I wonder. It's been a while since I lost the race. <laughs> I win, you lose, haha. Ha. That's what you get for messing with Koopa the Quick. Better luck next time. Oh. Oh, I guess I'll just leave uh, exit course. Okay, you don't lose a life if you if you mess up. <laughs> okay. This time, don't press the wrong button. <laughs> Switch the camera. I mean, I am playing this on the Wii Classic controller, so. The Z button is actually very close to the R button. <laughs> it's a little tricky. Yeah, it's not actually a very hard, well, very hard race to win. As long as you don't get set back by anything. Ah. Speedrun strat, so... <laughs> Doing long, one long jump after another. <laughs> yeah, I never actually sped run any games, so... Don't... Don't use what I say as any uh, any speedrunning advice. <laughs> there you go. Fortunately, you gotta wait until he arrives before you can get your star. I think I hear him coming. <laughs> Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, you really are fast. A human blur. Here you go, you've won it fair and square. It's actually harder than it looks to do the peace sign and I can't uh, quite... Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, my fingers aren't flexible enough to do, to do the victory pose or peace sign or whatever. <laughs> Whoa, right back in. <laughs> the island in the sky. Oh yeah, I was supposed to talk to these guys after I beat Bobon, uh, Big Bobon. Thank you, Mario. The big bomb bomb is nothing but a big butt, big dud now. But the battle for the castle has just begun. Other enemies are holding the p other power stars. If you recover more stars, you you can open new doors that lead to new worlds. My bomb bomb buddies are waiting for you. Be sure to talk to them. You'll set up, they'll set up camp cannons for you. Oh yeah, this this guy for example. 
We're peace-loving bob so we don't use cannons. But if you'd like to blast off, you'd, you'd, we don't mind. Help yourself. We'll, we'll prepare all of the cannons in this course for you to use. Bon voyage! Yeah, I think this is also the first game that to introduce uh, peaceful uh, minion Bowser minions. Ready for blast off? Come on, hop into the cannon. <laughs> you can reach the star on the floating island by using the four cannons. Use the control stick to aim, then press A to fire. If you're if you're handy, you can grab onto trees or poles to land. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, yeah, in, I'm thinking yeah, Mario RPG, or Mario RPG, I mean, uh, Paper Mario. Mario RPG is the Japanese name. Uh, in Paper Mario, you, you see, you meet other um, peaceful peaceful creatures, so I guess. Koopas and Goombas and stuff, but yeah. I think. This is the first one you see. This. Yeah, and playing on, on the, the Wii Virtual Console. With the plastic controller, but yeah, it might it can take can take a little take a little to get used. Oh, look a tiny a tiny Koopa Trooper! Come here, you! I want your shell. Yeah. <laughs> and then, always love doing this. Ow. <laughs> yeah, when they announced that the, uh, the Wii Virtual Console was no longer going to sell games, I bought a bunch of them. <laughs> even even ones that I already owned the uh, g uh, physical or video versions of, like like this one. Yeah, I own. I own the cartridge, but uh, was more. Yeah, uh, there is there is some merit to having uh, digital versions of, of games just for the convenience. I believe this is also teleport. To stop here. Yeah. Yeah, there's still some stuff in my memory <laughs> back in the day. Ah, you. Yeah, this this one doesn't follow you. He runs away, but there there are those uh, one up mushrooms that follow you, and then you can play the what it's called the Green Demon Challenge, <laughs> uh, where you yeah you I think I think what, what you're supposed to do you're, you're supposed to uh, have uh, yeah you're supposed to activate the the, the green uh, one up and then. Maybe try to grab all eight coins, all eight red coins, before it catches you? Is that the challenge? I think so. Yeah, I'm not gonna get all eight coins right now. I will try to... I don't that there... You can... You have an, you get an extra star if you... If you get a hundred coins in each world. So, yeah, I might as well... Oops. Might as well get a hundred coins while I'm getting the eight red coins as well. Since, yeah, the red coins are part of the hundred coins. So. And uh, yeah, unlike unlike all the other coins, uh, unlike all the other stars, the you can get the the hundred coin star and still remain in the level, I believe. Ah, oh, just missed it. Okay. Okay, I thought I thought if I aimed straight up, I, w I would fall right back down. So I I moved a little bit forward. So I'm gonna just gonna aim straight up now. Yes, straight up is not exactly 90 degrees up. So uh, where is oh, here? Covered three power stars. Now you can open any door with a three on its star. You can come and, and go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, to, so be careful. Huh. Yeah. 
Uh, I'll be fine, don't worry. This is not my first rodeo. There you go, the first... <laughs> yeah, this is actually one of the... Uh, the start of the era of games that kind of... Well, I guess the Super Nintendo also had that, but yeah, in this game I, I'm not... Uh, I'm not reading from the manual like in the other games because... Uh, I think that, yeah, this game does a pretty good job at explaining how to play. Which, yeah, Nintendo games, the NES games, didn't usually do that. So you had to read the manual. But... Come here. Come here. Get out there. But yeah, the, this this one does a good job. Really panic-inducing to <laughs> hear the the noise of the bob -omb following you. Ah, get away from me! Yeah, I still listen to plenty of remixes of this of this song. <laughs> Overclocked remix. Actually, should be I should be exploding all the all the, the bombs because they they each give one coin. So come here. I am going after a hundred coins after all. Come here. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, the ones that already exploded and respawn don't give those coins. your contribution? No. Yeah, you have. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, here. Come here. Oh, actually, I wondered, can I get 100 coins without the, the red cap? Because there are a bunch of coins on the, in the sky. And you can only pick them up after you, you, you got the the flying cap you see on the on the cover there on the on the poster maybe yeah maybe i can't get the 100 coins right now well i will get the i will get the, the koopa trooper then because he gives the yeah the i think the red coins are worth two coins uh, and the blue coins are, wor are worth five or ten yeah i think oh yeah if you're going to 100 coins, better get blue coins. Come here. Come here, you. Oh, get back here. <laughs> yeah, the super troopers weren't weren't kind of weren't that cowardly in the other games. They, they run away from you here. Come here, you. Hey, you. Get down from there. Oh yeah. Gotcha. Your shell is mine. I think it might. There we go. Oh yeah, much easier to... Uh, much easier to defeat the Goombas like this. Anyone else? It's already got from here. Okay. Mm, yeah, I'm still still pretty far from 100 coins. So. Yeah, you can get a few here. So yeah, probably I probably need the, the flying cap. Oh yeah, I forgot it slid. Oh, there we go from here. Come here. 
Like, where are you going? Uh, coin ran away. Uh, where's the last? Oh, I think there's another coin on the island, right? <laughs> Mario can get a little squished by the elevator if I. <laughs> yeah, I do believe there was a red coin up here when I when I came up here to get the star. All those coins up there. Yeah, I don't think it's worth trying to get them with just a cannon. Pro probably, probably possible, but it would require plenty of tries. Going back here, shooting at them, then coming back and shooting again. Yeah, not worth it. Wait, I think. Uh, wasn't there something about going around these poles? Hang on. Also give you coins? Yeah. I remember. Oh maybe maybe I can get all another coin. Yeah, the kind little one of the kind of secrets that you you had to read about in the gaming magazine or something, because yeah, this was before the internet, so at least before the internet for me. Uh, so you couldn't really look it up online. <laughs> Yeah, this 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 kind of tips really uh, spread quickly because you keep one one person would read about it on a magazine that they will tell their friends at school, they tell their other friends, and so eventually everyone knew. Uh, Seventy six. Anywhere else? Oh, maybe up 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 the. Oh yeah, there was the, there was a coin in, in this hill here. I mean, there is an, another method that I, I sometimes use to go up uh, hills like this, is, is to use, uh, wait, B, yeah, you jump and kick, but you jump and kick and go back as you do it. If you keep doing this, you, you, you can, you can kind of go up a hill, even the one that you're not supposed to. Okay, let me see if... The few coins that are up here, are they enough? Cause yeah, if I can get all 100 right now, right away, might, might as well. Hey, you. Stop that. Would be cool if the cannon stopped firing once you defeated his, the operator. <laughs> Yeah, just 10 left. Uh, where can I get 10 more points? Hmm. I think maybe if you climb up a tree, can do. Th I think the, some of them sometimes give you something. Let me try. Oh, I think some of them give you one ups, not points. Oh, I better watch out for my health because, yeah, coins rec re uh, recover your health. But uh, as you might as you might see, uh, I kind of picked up all the all the coins available. So if I run out of lives, if I run out of, of, of hit points, I won't be able to replenish them. There are no more coins in the stage. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're the, still the coins that are in the cannon in the sky. To try and maybe get get them again. Mm. Yeah, the water bombs don't give you coins. 
Ooh, wait. Uh, does this one hit me? Uh, a little dangerous, but... Yeah. Ah. It does give you coins, but... Also hurts you. Dang it. <laughs> hey, Umbra. Yeah, very dangerous to be around a chain chomp <laughs> while it's charging. Especially one this big. Oh well. I did it once, I can do it again. Right. Hang on, can I aim this block at you? Haha. <laughs> oh yeah. It's gonna break into coins. I want all I want all the coins. Yeah, when I'm when I'm going for the the hundred star hundred coin star I, I get greedy. <laughs> Hello, not Max Zoring. Oh yeah. I forgot they exploded for a while. <laughs> Okay, let me get the chain chomp right away. So if if he does hurt me, I can recover. Ow! There you go. Got it. I mean, I don't know any any Max Zorin, so uh, there's no danger of me of me mistaking you for it. Someone like that. I mean, going for 100 coins right now because I am actually going for 120 stars. So, I'm, since the eight red coins are part of of the 100 coins, might as well get the hand coins when I'm while I'm getting the eight red coins. Oh, Max Zorian is a James Bond villain? I didn't know. I only know the James Bond villains that sh showed up in, in Goldeneye. I've never, I've never, yeah, I haven't watched, actually watched that many uh, James Bond films. I played a, 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 the James Bond game, but not, not watched the movies. can also stomp this, but... I think that... Yeah, this gives you... A, does this give you another star if you stomp all four, I think? But yeah, right now I'm not... We're looking after that. For the hundred... But yeah, it, it seems like you can... It might it might be possible to get all hundred coins without the, the ones from the sky, anyway. So maybe, yeah, maybe I can get all, all the coins before getting the flying cap. I already get this? Yeah. Ow. Make sure I, I get all the... Ah. Get all the all the bombs. Oh yeah, let me let me get the one up here. Oh yeah, let me show the, the way that I saw it. You can... You can climb a hill like this as well. Uh, this. Wait, what? Ah! It turned. Hang on. Yeah. There you go. Ah! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Keep get get caught. Kept getting pushed to the side there, but yeah, you got the you got the idea. Short round. I think that's from Indiana Jones, isn't it? I think you mean uh, what do you call the 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 guy who threw the hat? Odd job. Yeah, that's his name. Yeah. 
the infamous character that gave you an unfair advantage at GoldenEye. <laughs> up here but yeah I didn't get how oh, didn't get that one Which, yeah you're supposed to do it like this but ah, hang on back up back up back up ah, no. yeah if you dive forward you can't you can't do it again okay. well this worked before so let me try this again there you go yeah, jump, the jump kick method also works. Uh, okay, this one down here. Come on. Get away from me! Yeah, I never read any of any James Bond novels either. Yeah, my only. I think I, I think I watched a couple of the movies, or, but it was so long ago that I mostly forgot. Some of the old ones, anyway. And what happens when you've been a few decades since you watched the movie? <laughs> Already at, at 80 points. Come here. Come here, you. Yeah, the Koopa should give me 10. Oh, you don't doesn't get 10. Okay, so it's five blue blue points. Or five worth five points. Still pretty close. Oh. And yeah, the red ones are two. Worth, are worth two. I should get two more from the final coin. Okay. Yeah, four more. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Oh, I shouldn't get... Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, I think I can get this. There we go. Yeah, I gotta be careful where you get the final... The final coin, because the star will appear on that area, so... There we go. You collected 100 coins. Mario gains more power from the castle. Do you want to save? Yeah, so, there you go. So, yeah, I was kind of worried that... The final, the star would, uh, if I shot myself with the cannon, the, the star would appear on the, in the sky like that. But fortunately I was able to get it. Okay. Let's make my way to the other star and there we go. Eh. How many times am I going to ground pound bef uh, while, when I meant to long jump? I wonder. Did I get... yeah. I got a, a life... I think I got a life uh, at 50 coins, didn't I? Instead of 100. Ah. Yeah, this one I do need the cap. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, I, I forgot how many stars... You, you, it, I think it's 12 that you need to get before the the sunlight shows up here. I don't remember, yeah, but yeah, but yeah maybe at some point I uh, will get the, the flying cat. Oh, 10 stars. Okay. Reacting to the star, the door slowly opens. So. Uh, yeah, let's go to Womp's Fortress. That that I always was always, I guess, considered level 2 in this game, since it's the next, the next door that becomes available. Level 
level get, that got a, a like a revamped version in Mario Galaxy, was it? Let's Mario Galaxy 2, I believe. <laughs> Hello, the Lakitos brothers, cutting in with a live update of Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique for sneaking up on enemies. The trick is this, he has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. And wrapping up filming techniques reported on earlier, you can take a look around, around using C right and C left, press C down to view the action from a distance. When you can't move the camera any further, the buzzer will sound. This is the Lakita Brothers signing off. Yeah, I will, I will get to the, the secret slide. Yeah, there's the owl here, I remember. And yeah, it's also also explaining the one of the another the innovation of the N64 controller, the ability to control the speed in which you move by the joystick. Yeah, that well, that was new at the time. So they really got, got had to explain it in the game that oh, if you move only slightly, you move slower. If you move all the way, you move faster. Yeah. <laughs> the typical Japanese trope of having a snot bubble on someone's sleeping. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Very common in anime and stuff, but also shows it's showing up here. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how they do that in in emulators. I mean, at least, I mean, emul don't emulators also emulate uh, the. Uh, if, if you have, uh, I mean, if you're using a, a mouse and keyboard, yeah, but it's, it's hard, but. If you're using a regular PC gamepad, don't those also have uh, like joystick controls that can also be emulated, and then and then you you you, you can adjust the speed like that? Ow. Once again, you see an enemy, previous enemy 3D form, the Thwomp from Mario 3, showing up in 3D. Eventually got a redesign in, in other Mario, but yeah, he was like that first. And yeah, the Piranha Plants was also a little different. Yeah, I figured you, you. By now, I mean, I mean, anyway, the emulators would have figured out how to uh, translate a regular controller's joystick into a Nintendo 64 joystick. Ow! Oh, another red coin in a, in a on a hill. Hang on. Hang on. Gotta time the jump correctly here too. As soon as I land, there you go. Look at that. Whee, all the way up. <laughs> uh, yeah, what am I doing? I mean, I'm not even trying to get all the all the coins, but can't help it. <laughs> Might be a little easier to get a hundred coins here, especially. Yeah, here you get uh, this button that generates a bunch of blue coins. Not a bunch, but still already ha already halfway there. Oh yeah, there's a red coin above this. Pump. <laughs> I wonder, am I gonna get? Am I gonna get a hundred coin? Oh yeah, yeah, this is another thing that showed up in previous Mario games that I saw in 3D for the first time here. The blocks that fall after you step on them. They were in Mario Land and, and in Mario 3, the donut blocks as they're called. So yeah, like I said, I remember... Whoa, dang it. Yeah, turning around would <laughs> be a little tricky. Uh, I remember just thinking about all the different things that from previous Mario games and what trying to imagine what they would look like in 3D. <laughs> yeah, 
And unfortunately, it would, there were a couple. Oops. There were a couple enemies and, and, and friends that wouldn't show up in 3D Mario's until after this. Like, Yoshi shows up at the end here, but you can't ride him. It wasn't only until Mario Sunshine where you could ride Yoshi in 3D. And unfortunately, Luigi doesn't show up here either. Eh. Ooh, coins down there, I want them. But I can't get them without the... Wait, I think I can't get them without the cannon. Yeah, almost there. Come on. Give me your coins. It's a robbery. <laughs> Give me your money. Ah, two more coins. Wait, I didn't get all red coins, so there's still, still, there should be one more. Where is it? Uh, it's probably one of the floating islands. I think this gives you one, one up. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a red coin right there. Okay. okay, maybe I can get it. Up the elevator. Wait, where is it? Oh. Ah. It's over here. Ah, come on. The perspective fooled me. <laughs> Wait, did I get you already? No. I think I woke you up. Yeah. There you go. Hundred coins already. Okay, never mind. I'll get the red the red coins later. Let's head to the big swamp. No, not the big. What are they called? Yeah, there's swamp, swamp and swamp. <laughs> hey you. I'm here to pick a fight with you. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and still you walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do we have a problem with that? Just try and pound me, wimp. Don't mind if I do. Little band-aid on his crack on his back. <laughs> Ah, too late. Yeah, there was that uh, uh, theory that this enemy was based on that Japanese yokai monster. That's a wall that block blocks people's ways. Oh, cool. No, crushed again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel. Uh, grovel. Here, you win. Take this with you. But yeah, Mar Mario's kind of a bully here. Here we go. I mean, yeah, there. I guess other, other Nintendo 64 platformers did things that this one did, but for a for a first time, it was still pretty pretty accomplished, I guess. Oh, hello. Like, and it's amazing how 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 much they got right <laughs> with three navigating in 3D environments. It's, everything was new back in the day, so people had just had to figure out. And there was no previous game to to base them to base things off of. It was Bowser who stole the stars. I saw him with my own eyes. Yeah, I figured that. He's hidden six stars in each course, but you won't find them all in the same in some courses until you press the cap switches. Yeah. The stars you found will show up each course's starting screen. If you want to see some of the enemies you've already defeated, select the stars you recover from them. Okay. I never actually played uh, Banjo Kazooie or uh, Donkey Kong 64. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have a lot of N Nintendo 64 games growing up. 
and it was uh, after after the period where I rented a lot of games. Because yeah, in, in the N64 and the Nintendo 8-bit era, uh, I played a lot of games mo not because I owned them, but because I would rent them every weekend. But here, uh, I think rental shops were starting to go uh, become rarer at the. I think there were still a few. I remember renting a few N64 games back in the day. I. I remember renting and actually beating uh, Quest 64. And uh, I rented, uh, I think it was Castlevania Legacy of Darkness, the one where you turn into a werewolf. Uh, and I, I think I rented Super uh, Smash Brothers uh, for like a birthday party at some point. But yeah, the, the N64 games that I owned weren't a lot. There was, uh, I think there were seven total. Mario 64, uh, Mario Kart 64, uh, Star Fox 64, and uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time and Zelda Majora's Mask, Mortal Kombat 4, GoldenEye, uh, what was that? Did I really list them all? Easy star over here. here we go. I mean, I do hope to one day play the uh, Banjo Kazooie at some point. So many people loved it. Just haven't. It's not like I didn't like the game. I just didn't have the opportunity. You've recovered eight of the power stars. Now you can open the door with the big star. But Bowser is just ahead. Can you hear the princess calling? No, not really. <laughs> Shoot into the wild blue. Oh, yeah. Now you get to open the cannon. Little shortcuts to get up here straight right away. Hey, you. Open the cannon for me. Yeah, I've seen the I've seen the argument back in the day that uh, people think that it was a mistake for Nintendo to keep uh, cartridges when other other consoles were moving on to CD-ROMs. But I mean, I guess from a business standpoint, it was a mistake. But from a creative standpoint, I actually like that they kept because uh, yeah, there are some games that I think would not work well in CD-ROM format. How? Yeah, right on target. And then other games that would work, would not work well in cartridge format. So it was actually nice that we got both types of media available. Because yeah, there were there were drawbacks for uh, CD-ROMs. The the fact that you couldn't save your game on the cartridge, like you had you needed a memory card. Uh, the fact that it would much easier to break a CD-ROM and scratch it than to break a cartridge. So it, cartridges were much more durable. And of course, the loading times. Cartridges loaded much faster than CD-ROMs. <laughs> so yeah, those are like three uh, three uh, uh, advantages that CD-ROMs had, or that cartridges had over CD-ROMs. But yeah, the CD-ROMs had the advantage of uh, storage space and and being much cheaper to manufacture. So you could put you could put much uh, many a lot more uh, uh, pre-rendered videos in CD-ROMs. And orchestrated music as well. So. Yeah, there's a star here. Ah, too low. Like I, I think I re remember someone trying to imagine. Imagine what what like Zelda: Ocarina of Time would look like in CD-ROM, having to wait. Every time you've got into Kakariko Village, for example, you had to wait a few seconds for it to load. <laughs> yeah, it would be a kind of annoying. So. Like I, yeah, like I, said, I like that we, we had both types of media. And funnily enough, now Nintendo switched back to cartridges now with the Switch. <laughs> now that, yeah, cartridges are... Getting got a lot more storage space and I guess well maybe not quite as cheap to produce but still cheaper. 
Oh, red coins. Okay, now we get the red coins. Uh, let me see. Was there one here? No. Yeah, this is where they show the yeah the blue stars where the the, the stars of the gold coins show up. Uh, maybe I'll yeah maybe I'll start from top to bottom. Let's let's wake up the owl here. Yeah. Hey you. Who's there? Who woke me up? It's still daylight. I should be sleeping. Hey, as long as I'm awake, why not take a short flight with me? Press and hold A to grab on. Release to A to let go. I'll take you wherever you want to go. As long as my wings hold out. Watch my shadow and grab on. Okay. Yeah. I think he might get me to the island. Uh, wait, I think, am I, yeah, I forget, I, I forget that I could drive him. I, th I thought I had had to wait for him to, to go uh, where I wanted him to go. Uh, oh, no, this is too low. Too low. Come on. Uh oh. Ooh, I'm just about flapped out. You should lay off the pasta, Mario. Hey, you're calling me fat? <laughs> or heavy? <laughs> That's it for now. Press A to let go. Okay, bye. No, no. No, not here. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Oh, yeah, there's a red coin right there. Uh. Yeah, I forgot. I, I I forgot he would keep going. Oh, I think he he doesn't come back. Oh well. Uh, yeah. I for, uh, like I said, it's been a while, so I, I forgot that he was. Oh, there he is. Hey you. Hey you. Give me a ride again. Come on. I forgot that he would keep going down. Uh, further and further down. There you go. Ooh. Okay. Get these these out of the way right away. Going against the arrow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even need to uh, drop that board to get here. And once again, ground pound instead of long jump. Yeah. You're supposed to do this. <laughs> One, and then... Two. <laughs> yeah, I never uh, played the Resident Evil 2 either, so I I didn't know they had all that all the FMVs were in, in the cartridge. Whoa! I mean, there's a bullet bill in 3D. I <laughs> hadn't seen that yet. Dangerous. Eh, yeah, what, what, what the heck? <laughs> Ooh. And squished. Yeah. Ah, come on. Okay. What? Which coin am I in? <laughs> am I at? Three? Only three? There are plenty more up here. Oh. oh yeah, there's one on the hill here. Yeah, I never owned, um, I mean, never owned a PlayStation because I guess back in the day, you, sometimes you only had money for one console. So you had to pick. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I picked the Nintendo 64 because of, of Mario here and... So I'm, that means I missed out on a bunch of PlayStation games back in the day. I mean, now I, I I have played a bunch of them, but still, there's still plenty that I haven't. Wait, what? I do own a PlayStation 2 now, so yeah, there are. I can I can play uh, PlayStation 1 games, but 
they're now a little hard to come by. Thankfully, I, I've gotten a bunch in the PlayStation 3 digital store. I actually got uh, Resident Evil 3 uh, on the play, play PS1 store, but not two, just not yet anyway. And I, I played Resident Evil 1 on uh, the Nintendo DS version. <laughs> So yeah, I guess that, that version is kind of similar enough to the PlayStation 1 version. I don't have to play that one that one again. But yeah, I still want to play the original Resident Evil 2 at some point. As well as the remake. I mean, yeah, that's the thing of retro games. It's never too late. Sometimes when you're a kid, you can't really you can't really control or can't can't help which games you have access to. Sometimes you just you just can't play all the games back in the day, so... All... Oh, yeah, the cage shot. <laughs> yeah, it is interesting when they make a... a they try to justify the port by adding something. <laughs> Well, yeah, the Nintendo. I remember the Nintendo DS version. Uh, yeah, what am I doing? Go get the owl. Uh, the Nintendo DS version added a bunch of mini games to Resident Evil. I guess to justify use of the touchscreen. But yeah, sometimes it can get a little, a little troublesome, <laughs> bothersome to figure out which version should I play. Like, yeah, if I want to play Resident Evil 4, for example, that 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 game had a bunch of different versions. <laughs> I remember some people f still thinking that the, the, like the Wii version is the best because of the pointed controls or something. <laughs> or maybe, yeah, I think the, they added move support for the PS4 or PS3 version. <laughs> I think I got all the... yeah, all... Bomb Bomb Battlefield, I need the cap. Womp's Fortress got them all. There you go. Oh. Speaking of cap. Right, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, C up. And then look up. Yeah, this took a while to figure out back in the day. <laughs> Welcome to the Wing Cap Course. Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all the red blocks you find will become solid. Try try out the wind cap. Do the triple jump to take off and press Z to press Z to land. Pull back on the control stick to go up and push forward to nose down. To nose down. Just as you would when flying an airplane, yeah. can be uh, also hard to decide, um, uh, even harder to decide which port to which port to play. If like one version has one thing, but the other person ha doesn't have that thing, but has another thing. So okay, wh what do you want? What components of the game do you want? Do you want that? But you, you can't have everything, so you gotta pick. You can choose. Uh, okay. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. Ah, took too long. Yeah, this is a little tricky, this, to get all eight coins in this course. Okay, okay. Yeah, as you, it's, it's kind of like, yeah, I guess it's kind of difficult to explain why it's hard to control sometimes, because Mario keeps getting lower and lower as he flies. But if you don't, if you try and get steady, it gets he gets like constantly ever more unstable. Okay, let's get this out of the way, right? You've stepped on the wing cap switch. Wearing the wing cap, you can soar through the sky. Now, wing cap will pop out of the red blocks you find. You'd like to say, yeah, sure. 
3. I didn't know this back in the day that these uh, big switches were from uh, Super Mario World because I, I hadn't played Mario World before playing this. <laughs> Even though that's not shiny anymore, you still you can still do this. Okay. I, mean, I am going for 120 stars, so I gotta get everything. If I weren't, I would have ignored this. This is kind of yeah. This is one of the more ah more painful coins to get or stars to get. Eh. Okay. Try that again. I mean, if, if, you could, if you could control Mario without any trouble, you could just do a spiral and get all the coins, but... Yeah, like I said, it gets a little unstable, so it's kind of hard to aim correctly at... Yeah, see, it, it has a tendency to point down, so you have to... You have to keep uh, readjusting, but... Eh. Yeah, this is as far uh, as far back as I can pull the camera, so... Okay, let me try... Uh, going way this way. Going all the big circle around. Trying to, trying to maybe try to match the rate at, at which Mario goes down with the, the shape of the spiral. Okay, okay. Fine. Ah! See what I mean? Very hard to aim. Uh, hang on, let me try it. I don't think you can get all of them, uh, so you gotta land here at some point and get the cap again, but... You gotta get at least the higher ones, because there's a limit. Ah, uh, yeah, that one's that one was beyond beyond the height. Okay, let's see which ones. Wait, can I? Oh wait, maybe I can't get all of them. Okay, or maybe I can get all of them in, in one go. Okay, I'm getting better. Just gotta. Long, yeah. Go all the way around. Uh. Ah! Okay, missed one. Kind of weird. Yeah, he gets more and more unstable. Ah. Try. Oh, come on, one more, one more left. And too late. Yeah! <sighs> okay, so not that. Okay, not maybe not that hard. I just gotta not miss any coins on the first try. <laughs> yeah, the coins here try to direct where you should go, but. Yeah. Okay. Still tricky. Okay. Ah, he keeps wanting to go up or down. It's like almost like balancing a pole on your hand or something. And the slightest movements will will make him go the other direction. Okay. Ah, but don't have don't have enough time. Yeah. See, so can't miss one. Okay. One more time. Try. Then we go back to Bomb Bomb Battlefield to get the star there. And then yeah, I'll go to the after the Bomb Bomb Battlefield one, I go I will go to the the secret slide. Okay, come on, last one. Ah. 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 Come on. 
Got it. And then I gotta land. <laughs> Come on, don't run out. Don't run out. <laughs> Made it. Just in time. <laughs> Here we go! One of the castle's secret stars. Yeah, I think every every uh, cap button has a uh, eight red coins that you can get. Mario wings to the sky. Tia Steve Steve Mass Art, thanks for dropping by. I mean, if you want to check out the rest of the stream later on, uh, you can go to my YouTube channel uh, tomorrow. This My stream VODs usually get archived there. You don't have to worry about missing the stream if it's too late for you. charge here anyway. Oh yeah, this is this is also pretty tricky to get on the first try. So. Ah. Almost. I pull up right at the, at the right time. Uh, where is it? Gotta make Mario go through this, the loop of coins five times. There are five of them, I think. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, tricky to get on first try. Uh. Oh. Okay. Second try. Not too bad. Okay. Let me see what what happens if I pound on all the all the. All the uh, pieces of wood here. Uh, all the... I mean, I know that if you pound this on the, the one uh, that's holding the chain shop, he goes free. And... But I don't remember if anything happens on this one. Whoops. Nothing happened. Look at it. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, big on I guess big difference in this game compared to other Mario games is that there is no invincibility. I guess maybe the blue cap, uh, the uh, the blue cap is uh, com closest thing to an invincibility star. Oh yeah, yeah. there's one more. Uh, but they still reuse the, the music for the caps, the, the Starman music. Okay, this one I think pretty easy to get. Just gotta not get killed by the chain chomp. Ow. Ah. Hang on, hang on. Gotta recharge. I'll be back for you. Okay, good enough. Still terrifying. This big, big mouth. Ah. Coming right at you. Okay. Ah. Gotta remember the seconds you have before it attacks. Ah. Okay, come on, come on. Ah, oh, right. It's right there. There you go. 
Yeah, this might have been a mistake. This big creature running loose. <laughs> yeah, Mario, I'm tired too. <laughs> Mostly from the the wing captain one, but actually it hasn't been that long. Anymore. An hour and forty minutes. Yeah, well, I haven't really timed myself with here, so I'm not sure how long it would be taken to, to get all 120 stars, but like I said, I hope to at least get the the ones down here from every level, anyway. Yeah, I said I was going to get a slide after the bomb-bomb battlefield. But let's go. Yeah, the three, three paintings. Most of them don't do anything, but this one is a secret. <laughs> As well get these coins, I don't think it will do anything, but... Uh, oh yeah. Okay. And yeah, I do know that if you, if you get to the end within a certain amount of time, you get an extra star. Uh, I forget, is it 22 seconds? 23? I don't remember. 21 probably, and <laughs> I just missed it. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Yeah, knowing my luck, it, it was exactly 21 seconds and I just missed it. Uh, yeah, not sure why these coins are here, but then maybe if, Ma if Mario gets hurt uh, while we're exploring the castle, you can use these two. Recover? Yeah. yeah, this game doesn't really have a point system, so it's not like you earn more points by getting more coins. Oh, wait. Uh, try that again. Oh, I can't... I can't exit while sliding. Oh, well. Uh, I wanted to slide on my belly. Like this. I wonder, can I can I try a shortcut? <laughs> yeah, no way I'm gonna get that bump at the beginning cost cost me. And I think Yeah, I think every time you get a secret star and this is a, a secret star, you get you go back to the middle. So yeah, you don't you don't you don't get Yeah. It's not like you get uh, dropped out of the painting like in the other uh, worlds. You gotta go all the way back up here. Okay, let's try again. And... Whoa. Belly, belly slide! I hug the corners to save time. Secret, secret star. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we have the... The... Boat, the water level or the snow level. Both very infamous themes for levels, but... <laughs> uh, let's, let's go the snow one. Why not? Snow Mountain Summit, watch for slippery conditions. Please enter the cottage first. You can tell me what to do. Yeah, we got finally get to see the this thing that was this area that was uh, shown in the beginning of the game. What? In the intro intro screen. Oh, 
Only two? Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna run around and do what I want. Ow. Hello. <laughs> Mario stuff. Very funny. Oh yeah. No. Punch you. How do I how do I defeat you? Wait, wait, wait. Give me the coins. Yeah, kind of interesting thing about uh, snowmen. Uh, snowmen in, in Japan, uh, they are usually made, drawn with two snowballs. In America, they are usually made with three. Kind of a co interesting cultural differences <laughs> between how, how snowmen are portrayed. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Snow levels slippery. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, is this puddle just from your tears? Hey, God, my baby. Have you seen my baby? She's the most precious baby in the whole wide world. They say she has my beak. I just can't remember where I left her. Let's see, I stopped for herring and ice cubes and then... Oh, I just don't know. Yeah, very bad mother to forget where you left your baby. I mean, there is this baby here, but I know that's not the right one. We were a little too easy. That's not my baby. She looks nothing like me. The parents must be worried sick. Yeah, where are the parents of this baby? You know, you never get to find out. I mean, there's the penguin that races you in the in the slide, but uh, we don't know uh, if what the gender of that penguin is. Is is that the mother of this uh, the, the other penguin, or is, or is that the father of the first penguin? Talk about out-of-body experiences. My body has melted away. Have you run into any headhunters lately? I could sure use a new body. Brr, my face might freeze like this. Uh, a little too late for that, buddy. You're already frozen. Now, get back. Now... Ah, never mind. You don't want to die trying to get get a one up. That's, that's a very uh, rookie mistake in video games. Oh, maybe now I'll grab the. Maybe now I'll go go up the down the slide. I do know there is a teleporter to get back up the mountain. Ooh. Yeah, having Mario land on his butt in a in a on a snow and sinking is kind of funny, but this is still a lot funnier. Cracks me up every time. <laughs> Dive head first into the snow. Uh, and I'm back up here. And there's the baby. Oh, missed the coins. Not quite as many coins as I... Uh, okay, maybe... Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not competing right now, so it's okay to cheat. <laughs> Ow. Mm. 
Any more coins over there? Oh. Ah, come on. Come on. Ah, uh, just a few more. Okay, maybe I'll come back. Uh, although there is the danger that the star, I'll get the star and will be stuck on the on the slide. Yeah, maybe I should have I should have done the slide first. Or maybe, no, there there could be, I could leave just like, I could try and only get like 98 coins and then leave the last red coin or something. Yeah, no, they're, they're still, okay, they're still, hang on, I'll get your baby soon enough, don't worry. I'm still away. Let me ignore that star for now, go back up. Wait, I, yeah, I think the, the coins that I already got will not be there, right? The, you can't just you can't just farm the, the slide for coins, can you? Yeah, no, they're not there. Just hope I don't die. Ooh, okay, got them all here. Got this one. Uh, oh dear. Five. That's it. Ah. Oh, nice! Oh no! Wait, 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 wait! No! Wait, 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 wait! No, 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 no! no. <laughs> I didn't know there were so many coins down the slide. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it! Will it still be there if I when I come back? <laughs> I wonder. Hang on. Hang on a second, I gotta, gotta go back up to the slide. <laughs> Grab my 100 coins now. <laughs> okay, maybe I should have listened to the sign that said to go to the cottage first. Uh, mistakes were made. Okay, where am I starting? Come on. And can I grab it on the way down without dying? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not. Since I'm not, I'm not competing. I can go slowly. If, I, if you push, if you uh, pull back, you you slow down Mario's speed. Ah, ah, now go away. Now, okay. Ah, uh, the star was about was right here. It despawned. Oh well. Mamma mia! Okay, try that again. This time, get the, get the get the cottage first. Yeah, yeah. Mia, yeah, you don't always have to get the the coin that uh, you pick for the stage. Well, sometimes picking the the star, or, I mean, the, not coin, the star for the stage. But sometimes when you do, uh, certain uh, the stage gets changed a little, a little bit. In some ki in some cases it is necessary. Oh, okay. Okay, and there you go. Okay. Yeah, much easier <laughs> this way. <laughs> For now. Uh, wait, no. I mean, not let's not use the teleporter. I'm kind of worried that if I use the teleporter, the star will despawn. Uh, I just gotta make my way back up one of the ramps. Yeah, there's the, the, the blue coins though. Oh, red coin over here. Just kidding. Okay, 
nine more coins. No! Drop that. Ow! No! Wait, 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 wait. No, no. Yeah, if I'm if I'm not uh, like facing. Ah. Did I get it that last time? If I'm not uh, pulling back when I do that jump, uh, I'll, I'll just dive head first instead of instead of doing the the jump kick. Hang on. This. Hey. What? No. Ah. Ah. Stop that. Okay. No, don't. No. Last thing I want is to fall down the edge. Okay, almost there. Almost there. A little bit. There you go. Give me, yeah, just enough. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, save, and the star should still be down there, right? Yeah, there it is. Gotta be careful where I drop. Oh. It's okay, the snow broke, broke, broke my fall. There you go. Got the 100 coins out of the way. Pretty soon, pretty quick. Just racking up the lives. Yeah. <laughs> Little penguin lost. Let's get you, get you back to your mother. Yeah, I'm not going to do the mean thing about of uh, returning him to his mother and then grabbing him and throwing off the ledge. <laughs> I think I can take a shortcut over here. Uh, I kind of, kind of forgot the layout of the level. Where is the mother? Oh, there. I think. Hey you, get back here. Uh excuse me. Get over here. No, I'm gonna come back here. No wonder you got lost from your mother. It's not <laughs> Yoshi must be feel must be saying, "Hey, how how does that how do you, how does that feel <laughs> carrying a, a whiny baby?" Oh. <laughs> Here you go. You found my precious baby. Where have you been? How can I ever thank you, Mario? And you can give me a star. Oh, I do have this star. Here, take it with my eternal gratitude. I mean, yeah, some people would get the baby and then drop that down the ledge. Because you already got the star, so you, you you don't have to... You could, theoretically, get rid of the baby and you still have your star. But yeah, that's kind of uh, out of character for Mario. <laughs> Big friend mix. Okay, here we go. Now we get now we get to complete. Hey, you. Hey, hey, Mario, buddy, how's it going? Step right up. You look like a fast sledding kind of guy. I know speed when I see it. Yes, siree. I'm the world champion sledder, you know. What do you say? How about a race? Ready? And... Go, oh, hey. You went a little too fast there. I'll show you. Yeah, this time I won't 
No, I won't even have to cheat to beat you. Go to this hard turn. And this turn. Uh, no, you're not. Whoa! Ah, got you! Whoa! Careful where you're going there. <laughs> you broke my record! Unbelievable! I knew that you were the coolest. Now you've proven that you are also the fattest. Fastest. Not the fattest. Fastest. <laughs> hey, CBT streams. Yeah, I usually uh, put. Uh, like, if I ha happen to have a hat that fits with the game, I, I usually put it on, so I happen to have a Mario hat. <laughs> uh, so I, I usually do wear this when playing Mario games. Uh, I can't award you a gold medal, but here, take this star instead. You've earned it. Wahoo! have white gloves but <laughs> best I can do very very homemade costume here this is red shirt and uh, uh, mustache that I cut out of black paper and this Mario hat that I bought on, at an anime con years ago <laughs> oh thanks for following CBT streams frosty slide for eight red coins I know where most of them are. Whoa. Yeah, why, why can't the entire slide have rails like the first time? First part. <laughs> yeah, usually I play platformers on Thursdays, but uh, because I was sick on, on Tuesdays, and Tuesdays are for adventure games, uh, I ended up streaming on Wednesday and. <laughs> So I pushed the entire weekly schedule. So now I'm I'm playing uh, Mario on Friday, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll I usually play uh, these on Thursdays. Well, I likely won't finish this uh, today, but uh, in, in two weeks from now I'll be coming back to it. Yeah, here. I do want to try and get all the stars in the in the uh, first floor. Yeah, my schedule is usually like uh, Tuesdays for adventure games, uh, Wednesdays or Thursdays for first-person shooters and platformers, and Sundays for real-time strategy or turn-based strategy and RPGs. Still need points. Oh. oh yeah, there's one hidden back there. Uh, there was one by a yeah, there was one close to a like a frozen sculpture, a frozen column. Forgot where that was. Yeah, the last one. Mm. Where was it? Very cozy, cozy slide, almost like a ski lift. Uh, oh, was it there? No. Where was that again? I, I, I got there with the penguin. Hmm. Hmm, maybe I should go back up and try and get... Jump from the same spot I jumped before. I hope I, 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 hope I can make it. <laughs> Once again, ground pounding instead of... Yeah, I don't want to risk jumping, doing a long jump. Uh, ow. Don't want to risk doing a long jump across this gap. <laughs> oh, this is a 
Hang on, maybe I can... Maybe I can have a look around. Uh, yeah, it's up there. How do I get up there? And... Boom. <laughs> Still funny. Beat me up, Scotty. Okay, so how did I get here? Drop down here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Wait, is this another star or is it the one up? Oh, it's another one up. Yeah, sure. Why not? Hey, come back here. And uh, nugget. Dag nabbit. next snowman's lost his head yeah see this is one of the things that change if you pick uh, if you pick this uh, yeah th I think this this was not here before this this uh, snowball although wait I need a good head on my shoulders do you know anybody in need of a good body please I'll follow you if you do wait didn't you say you're following me hang on Ow. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. I'll just wait for you here. So wait, yeah, the the body and the head are have two separate consciousness. Ah, come on. I thought I just needed to guide it all the way to the end. Okay, I gotta gotta wait faster. Cause yeah, the the body of the snowman. <laughs> Also spoke, and the head of the snowman also spoke. So they're the two, the two different personalities that want to complete each other. <laughs> it's a body looking for a head, and a head for looking for a body. Kind of weird. But yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna debate the anatomy of a snowman. Let's try this again, maybe. From this angle. Okay. Aha, I got ahead of you. Get it? Ahead? Uh. <laughs> and over here. Wait, wait. Yeah, right here. Hey, yo. Right here. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, see, once again. Japanese snowmen usually made of two balls, one for the body, one for the head. Perfect. What a great new body. Here, this is a present for you. It's sure to warm you up. What's a snowman doing with something that warms you up? Isn't it dangerous for you? There's still one more uh, race against the penguin. Walk it, Goro. Maybe not. Or maybe it's on another stage? Uh, yeah, this, I think it. Whoops. I think for this one you need. Uh, you need to op open the cannon. Oh! Already passed passed by the the bomb bomb here. The... Although wait, how am I gonna get it back down? Hi, I'll prepare the cannon for you, but I, I hope I can just long jump back down. <laughs> uh, let's say here. Now I'm going to read the sign. Danger, strong gusts, but wind makes a comfy ride. Oh, yeah. Whoa. 
That's how you get back. Okay. okay so I remember you can go to that specific tree, but you gotta aim correctly. Uh, not too too low and you hit the wall. Too high and you overshoot it. So. Ow! Dang it. Okay, got it. Just some little bit of trial and error here. Mm, where can I fall down a little bit? Straight. Oh, oh the cannon's already open. Hang on. Ow. Yeah, if you know the layout of this level, it's very easy to go straight down where, where you want. You just gotta fall down the right side. It can be tricky to figure out which side that is. Ow. Do a backflip into the cannon. Come on. Okay, a little bit higher this time. There you go. I mean, I think there's a way to use these guys to get go up right, right away up the area. I think I've seen like speedrunners do it, but yeah, let's do it the regular way. With how do I how do I wall jump again? Uh, yeah, like that. Wait, no. Oh, ouch. Hit punch back, uh... Yeah, there's probably a sign back there that's teaching you how to do wall jumps. I think I can just do a backflip here, right? Hang on. Uh... Oh, come on, little bit. Hey, come on, the name of the star is Wall, j wall Kicks Will Work. They're not working, come on. Maybe like this way. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's slippery. Uh, got it. Here we go. Yeah, did I get all the stars? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Yeah. Can't you get a, like a rematch with uh, the penguin? Or is it is it in another in another? I remember like him showing up uh, after having gained more weight. No. No. Ah, psych. <laughs> yeah, that's one way you can trick him into not uh, racing and getting a shortcut. Okay, so maybe yeah, maybe it's in an, on another, maybe a, another secret uh, star or another world where you meet the, the same penguin. Okay, let's exit course. Uh, yeah, now now the only one left, I think, is the chip. Well, there is, yeah, there is a secret level down up here, I believe. Hey, Toad. The name of the stars are also in for finding them. They are displayed at the beginning of each course. You can collect the stars in each order, but you won't find some stars, enemies, or items unless you select a specific star. Yeah, I already mentioned that. If you got some stars, you can try another course. We're waiting for your help. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where was it? The... Yeah, there was a window up there. What does this say? Are you using the cap locks? You really should, you know. 
To make them solid, you can break them. You have so you can break them, you have to press the colored cap switches in the castle's hidden courses. Yeah. You find the hidden courses only after regaining some of regaining some of the power stars. Power stars. No, actually the green one you just have to reach the, the right area, and the blue one you just have to drain the castle mode, so. Only the red one is tied to the amount of stars you have. <laughs> uh, the cap blocks are a big help. Red red for the wing cap, green for the metal cap, and blue for the vanish cap. Oh, that's the name. Yeah. Okay, this, this just has a one-up, but... Yeah, this other window here is a secret. Or just a, Yeah, just a big underwater area. Completely... <laughs> A completely sealed off room filled with water? That's kind of terrifying when you think about it. Like <laughs> Mario's just stuck in this this one area without any without being able to have any anywhere that we can he can get a gasp of air. It's a, a big aquarium floating in the sky. Okay. Music is nice though, but doesn't make up for the fact that I am stuck in a giant box filled with water. At least I can still breathe coins <laughs> while there while there are coins. I can survive. Yeah, four above, four in the bottom. That makes. Eight red coins. Here we go. <laughs> it's kind of funny when he the way he poses while floating in the water. One leg to the back. Okay. Now we get the ship level, the water level. Thunder in the second ship, or the fir first water level. There are a couple. Attention, read before diving in. If you stay under the water for too long, you'll run out of oxygen. Yeah, yeah. Kind of already read that in, outside the castle. Oh, yeah. The, I mean, there's this green cap here, but are there any stars where I need the metal cap to get? I don't remember. I know this is another level where it's a little tricky to get all 100 coins. You really gotta get every available coin in the stage. Hello. <laughs> yeah, still, you're still scary. For some reason, you gotta stand next to it and then look away. And then when you look back, it's already out. Right? No. Look away a little way more. Yeah, when you dive back down, you don't actually, you never actually see the the eel, the giant eel swim outside, swim out of the of the of the ship. <laughs> Wait, what? Ow! When you when you look back down, it's already swimmy. Okay. Let's go plunder a ship for treasure. <laughs> Oh, yeah. A little bit of trial and error here. Hope I, hope I have enough enough uh, hit points to survive. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I, I can't breathe. This. Yeah, like Sonic. You can, if you see a giant bubble, you can you can breathe it. Uh, which was it again? This. Yeah. That's the last one? Yeah. Okay, water's being drained, but I can make it. Come on, come on, quick. 
Get up there, Mario. Yeah. Oh, almost. Nah, all the way back down. <laughs> okay. That was, that was close. Ah, come on, why won't you grab on the ledge there? Okay, let's just do the... Jumping backward trick. There, now you grab the ledge. And I think you can... Oh, no, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do the, some backflips. There you go. There you go. Easy enough. I think I'm gonna get leave the uh, 100 coins for when I get the red coins. Can the you come out to play? I don't want it to come out to play. I wanted to stay in the, in the side. And yeah, when when the kind of cool that you see this change in the level, uh, there's there is some like continuity. The, with the ship being drained of water, it floated back, floated up to the surface. Kind of cool. But that also meant the. Oh, I see. That's that's where you would you'd get uh, you'd need the green cap to get the star. You can't you can't approach that just by swimming. But if you jump down with the cap, you're heavy. You'll be able to get that star. Okay. Uh, so yeah. Now that the ship is not here, the eel had to find a new home. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Hello. Ah. Okay. Okay, it's coming out. And grab, 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 nah, grab it. Grab the star and stay up. Come on, I can, I can make it. I can make it. Ah. Come on! Ha! Oh wait, I still have to grab the star. Oh no! Ah. Oh, that's kind of, kind of morbid <laughs> seeing Mario drown like that. <laughs> Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Yeah, I, 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 I was going with so little health because I thought just grabbing the star was enough, but no, I gotta knock it off the, the eel's tail first, and then grab it. Okay. Come on. Round two. Let's go. Ow. Okay. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, need points. Need points. Uh... Yeah, the eel literally knocked the air out of me. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I think other games you had, uh, in future games you had a separate air meter. The, this one is the same. The air meter is, and your hit life points are the same. So. <laughs> Getting hit also meant you had less uh, time to breathe. There we go. Here we go. Yeah, usually in games you have a health uh, a breath meter, and only once that goes down, then you start losing hit points. In Mario 64, nope, you just start losing hit points right away. But uh, treasure of the ocean. Sea. But fortunately, that also means uh, there also goes both ways. If you once you uh, go up the surface, you recharge your your breath, but it also recharges your hit points. So if you're actually low on hit points, you just have to dive in, into the water a little bit and then go back up, and, and then you you get all your hit points back. You'll be fully healed just by diving a little bit. <laughs> 
This 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 must be the sunken cave. Where's the treasure? Keep out. That means you are. Anyone entering this cave without permission will meet certain disaster. Yeah, no, I won't. Whoa. Okay, maybe I will. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Ouch. I mean, they did warn me. <sighs> okay, trial and error again. Uh, this one. Nope. This one. This one. This one. This one. Oh. This one. At least there are only four, so it doesn't take too long to figure out the order. Here we go. Continue. Yeah. Red coins on the ship afloat. There you go. Now, now it's time to hunt for coins. Uh, I think this is a... Oh, yep, yeah, these are coins. Uh, anything else over here? There's a cannon here that I might... Maybe, I'll, maybe I, don't, I won't need to get all the coins, but... Yeah, uh, keep it in mind. Yeah, that Koopa shell there doesn't do anything. It's just bait. They make you want Koopa shells because you... you you surf on them, but yeah, do, you're grabbing that one on the water doesn't do anything. You can't even grab it. The red coins, though. Come on. Red coins you can grab. Uh, red coins up here. Yeah, I think I remember the first time I tried this. I. Uh, I wasn't sure where to find all the coins necessary, so I just wandered around quite a while looking for the last coin. There, this might this might this stage might have exactly a hundred coins in it, so uh, I hope I can find them all. Come on, open up, open up, I say. Uh, okay. Yeah. Red coins here. I think a one up showed up, but uh, I'm gonna ignore it for now. I don't think I can get inside here. Right now. Yeah. The eel could come out, but I can't go. I mean, uh, okay, thirty-one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think there. Are, wait, there are. I think there are blue coins in the, in the sunken cave. Hang on. Wait, what? I hold the button, uh, I'll swing like this, but I like I like timing the button presses better. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Hang on, let me get ready. Wait, come on, let me get ready. Ah, okay, fine. Okay, got him off. Whoa! Come on, you have points for me too? Got me. Give me. Give me your points. What are you doing inside the wall? Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Okay, get in there. 
not sure why there's a metal cap here. I don't see any use for it. Or maybe to just walk outside the, the walk outside the, the this uh, cave and go straight for the star down there. Okay, let's go for the red coins on the ship. Still might not be enough. There might be some more red coins that I'm missing. Some more... Uh, Ooh, maybe maybe there are... Yeah, I think there are some other regular coins that I missed. Oh, there's the cannon dude. Uh... Oh, yeah. Hang on. Yep, coins here. Yeah, trying to remember... <laughs> where, where were the coins again? It's been a while since I played this. I forgot. Oh, a bunch of a bunch of coins here. Oh, dang it! Okay, I might I might have it. I might have enough there. Let me just grab that one. Oh, thanks for following, Dominic Anime. Hope you're enjoying the, my my struggles to find every single coin in this level. <laughs> that looks like it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> right, ouch! Ow! That also looked like it hurt. No. If you jump and press Z, you ground pound. But if you press Z and jump, you you do a backflip. So gotta be careful. With the order. Oh, come on! Oh. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, exactly, exactly a hundred coins. The last... Oh wait, two more actually. A little bit of breathing on there. Not too, not a lot though. If you missed any coins, you could, you wouldn't get the hundred coins. Oh, one more I did. One more red coin I missed. Uh... Where is it? Uh, probably inside one of the shells. Uh, oh, I got that one, got two there. Huh. Maybe here? No. Oh, yeah. Come here. Gimme. I see, I see a, l a few red pixels inside you. Come out. Open up. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was a sneaky one over there, but... Found it. So yeah, 104 coins in this level. So if, yeah, if I missed 5 coins, I would not have gotten the all 100. And you can't, can't go in here anymore. <laughs> Even though I could go in here while underwater. I think I can do a backflip. Yeah. yeah. Here we go! Here we go! You've recovered 30 power stars. Now you can open the door with the big star. But before you move on, how's it going otherwise? Did you pound the two columns down? You didn't lose your hat, did you? If you did, you'll have to stomp the condor to get it back. These are... <laughs> the game thinks I've already been downstairs. <laughs> didn't count on me getting 30 stars still on the first floor. They say that Bowser has sneaked out of the sea and into the underground. Have you finally cornered him? <laughs> not quite, not yet. <laughs> Uh, blast to the stone pillar. Yeah, yeah. Now I gotta talk to the to the cannon dude. Need your help. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
There you go. Yeah, the button to talk is the same button to punch. So. Still <laughs> something that has been a problem in video games since back, the, back in the day. <laughs> you want to talk to someone and end up punching them by mistake? Yeah, it still happens to this day, so... <laughs> what was the camera? Oh, there it is. Yahoo! Okay, once again, gotta... Not just... Gotta aim vertically correctly. Too low and I don't hit. Too high and I overshoot. Come on, a little bit, a little bit. Uh, close enough. Yeah, that's what they meant by blasting off to the stone pillars. Here we go! Here we go! That the last one? No, one more. Jolly Roger Bay. Oh yeah, this is the one that I need the green cap to get. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, okay, what else? I mean, I could... Yeah, I could go to the ghost house, because, yeah... Uh, I guess, yeah, the ghost house is technically part of the first floor. Still early to win the stream, so let's go. Yeah, I didn't come here before. It was uh, before you get a certain amount of stars. This is area is is just uh, empty. After a certain amount, I forgot how many. Uh, a bunch of boos showed up, and yeah, once again uh, you see a boo in in 3D for the first time. Instead of instead of it stopping to move uh, when you look at it, it it goes transparent and also stops moving. So yeah, kind of interesting how uh, some of the same behaviors got translated into 3D. Uh, backflip and ground pound. And yeah, apparently the ghost house is tiny and you shrink down to get to go inside. <laughs> go on a ghost hunt. Hey, isn't that Luigi's job? To hunt ghosts? <laughs> Come on in here. <laughs> uh, the old, the old ghost house p p Mario 64 piano. It's the same regular piano, nothing, nothing to worry about. And suddenly it's a, a giant monster. I think the noise alone is, scared a bunch of kids back in the day. This room has poltergeists. Oh yeah, I also need the blue cap to get some of the stars here. Huh. Might not be able to get uh all the all the ghosts. Ghosts don't die. <laughs> Can you get out of here alive? Ugh. And yeah, the big floating eyeball. Hello. You blink with your iris? What's going on here? Okay, if I go around it, I'll make it roll its eye, I guess. Uh, yeah, I think I remember there are ghosts in. Uh, oh. Because you, you had to make the piano move to get the points. Uh, yeah, there are ghosts uh, that are under. Or behind uh, one of the walls that you can only access. No, I wait. I think I think you can go up behind that wall from the outside. Hang on. I might not need. 
another another area that showed up in the in the demo of the of the start screen. Those don't die. Yeah, yeah. I can't go. Get out alive. Hey, you. Get back here. Uh, hello. Okay, fine. I'll get. I'll get to you. Forget how many ghosts there are total. There might be a few downstairs in the weird carousel with the music. But yeah, let me check outside first. There might Look at these jumping blocks. Very weird. Look, these spiders are nudes. This game too. Remember them in previous games. Uh, yeah, this proper spooky music. to go downstairs just, uh, just gotta go back to the beginning back to the main area because yeah because the the you have to in order to get the blue cap you have to drain the moat and in order to do that you have to go down uh, downstairs and I think the green cap is also downstairs the, the green switch Ooh. so I won't be getting those caps this stream Yeah, the big boo showed up in Mario World first the first time. Uh, now we get to see the big boo in 3D. Uh oh, here we go. I'm wondering why why is why we're in the stairs uh, showing up. <laughs> Yeah, there. I do remember there. There are a few. There are, might be a few stars where I will need the, the blue cap here, so I probably won't. Just like I couldn't get all the stars in the Bob on Battlefield without the red cap, just like I couldn't get all the stars in the Jolly Roger Bay without uh, the green cap. I believe there are stars here that I won't be able to get until I get the blue cap. But yeah, I will get all the stars that I can. And then go to Bowser, and then that will be the end of the stream. And leave the rest, the next levels, for less next time. <laughs> Two with one grandpa. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't need I don't need to, no vacuum to defeat ghosts. <laughs> Do it with my bare hands or my bare butt. <laughs> Wait, not not my not my bare butt. But... Do it with my clothed butt. <laughs> Secret of the haunted books. Uh, I think I remember where that is. The, some books you have to punch. 
that are like a code. Yeah, like I said, I don't rem I don't remember exactly which which. Uh, wait, okay, maybe I I think I can get the red coins, but uh, I wonder. There's also an underground area here, I think, right? Oh, maybe I won't. Okay, maybe I won't need the, the blue cap. No, no, they no, they step. Oh, hello. I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh, hitting that book with my head would get me a blue coin. No, but yeah, I think. I think yeah, there are. There is a. I do need a blue cap to reach the roof, I think, and there is a, a star that you need. You can only get when you reach the roof. Okay. Okay, I think I can. There's a trick to getting up there. There you go. Uh, but I think... Oh, maybe? Hang on. Okay, yeah, I need... I do need the blue cap to get in here, but... Is there a star in here? I don't remember. Coins right now. I just just gotta look for the for the shelf. There, yeah, there's a corridor, I believe. With this. Uh, with the, some bookshelves at the end. Oh yeah, there's the star. I think I can actually do a long jump here to get it. I wonder can I, can I do it? Uh, Oh, let's let's do the right way. Uh, I think that over here, yeah, here, here it is. Ow, ow. Yeah, here you go. Uh, nope, wrong one. Okay. Uh, right one. Uh, nope, okay. Both. Center, right, left. And that's how you reach this. But yeah, I think there is a way to jump from that balcony to this one. So you don't have to go through that corridor, but not, not really that hard. Might as well. Hello. Oops. Forgot to ground pump. Uh, there. Okay, now I now I now I want to try and get every coin. Might as since I'm getting all the red coins anyway. Might as well. Wait, what? Is that ghost right all, all the way up there? I didn't. Hang on. Oh, it's the big boo. <laughs> it's already already up there. The big boo on the roof. Wait, wait, come back here. I need your coins. Get over. out like that. Oh yeah, the ghosts give me blue coins. Forgot. Come on, get it. Come on. Yeah, I'll get a hundred coins in no time. Just by butt stomping the ghosts.
forget what was inside here. Running around in circles makes some bad guys roll their eyes. Yeah, that's a hint. Uh, find exp how to defeat this guy. And I think you also gave me a blue coin, so yeah. Yeah, but, uh, okay, yeah, what was down here again? Oh, this is a, a, this is just a way up to climb back up from the from the carousel area. Okay. Okay, now I remember. Because yeah, there are other elevators like that, red type elevators in other levels. So kind of sometimes I get them mixed up. Uh, hey, can I get? Okay, yeah. Okay. Give me your coins. Two for one. <laughs> yeah, I don't care about you. you. You only gave me a star that I already had. Bye. Uh, anything else down here? Doesn't seem like. Yeah. Take the same elevator to go back up again. Yahoo! Yahoo! Uh, where was that again? Uh, here. Yahoo! Yahoo! By the time I find the, all the coins, I, was, I should have 100, 100 coins. Oh, this is the back door. Yeah, just gotta explore every nip, nook and cranny of the level. Try and defeat as many enemies as I can, especially the ones that give three coins. And especially the ones that give you blue coins. <laughs> those, are, those are worth five. Red coin now behind this haunted piano. Uh, noise of nightmares. Oh yeah, where's that book? Here you go. Wait, wait. Come on. Uh, I was hoping that the chair also gave me blue blue coins, but couldn't get to it. Down, Mario, come on. What are you doing? That's <laughs> cute little image of a boo. <laughs> oh. Nice, we have two enemies that give blue coins here. Hey, you, look at me. Hey, look at me. Remember red coins under like caskets, <laughs> coffins. Hey you! Yeah, two more ghosts. That should do it. Hello. Hey you! Get over here. I remember that always annoyed me as a kid, dropping down in a place where you have to go all the way around to get back up. I mean, not, not quite as worse as having to start over because you fell down an endless pit, but still, still annoying. Nice that the elevator's already down, down here. Okay. 
Time to get revenge on that bull that pushed me. Where are you? Hey, you. Gotcha. 100 coins get. Here we go! Yeah. I mean, 100 coins star get now. I just gotta find the rest of the red coins. Which I believe I'm up, up here. Yeah. Five. Whoops. Yeah. Uh, oh, here you go. There are the caskets. Let me get rid of you first. Look at me. Look at me. Wahoo. Not all of the caskets rose. Okay, one more coin. Where is it? Oh, we're here. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Uh, where? Wait. Where was the? Where was the the blue star again? Oh, I think, oh, oh, I think it was up on the balcony, yeah. Over here, yeah. I remember. Oh. Here we go! Yahoo! Yahoo! The red coins. Yeah, every time I get a, a hundred coins, uh, uh, the hundred star, I get two lives because since it only need, I only need, uh... 50 points for a one up. Yeah, big bulls balcony. Now, now I get to fight. Now I get to fight that. Oh, even, even down here he can detect that I'm looking at him. <laughs> no. Jump again. Uh, a little tricky, but you go right near the edge. There you go. The balcony, the door to the balcony is right here. Hello. Here, here comes the hard, harder part, not not defeating Big Boo, but getting up there to get the star itself. Uh, okay. Come on, Mario, you can do it. Come on. Ah, no, you can't. Okay, gotta just. Yeah, the space on top of the on top of the roof is very very narrow. So yeah. Go too far and you slide down the other side. Ah. Yep, that's still annoying to this day. Uh, and once again, uh, like I said, the annoying part of falling down and then having to go all the way back up to get now, let me uh, remember this is the last star but yeah if it is uh, if it is the last star then yeah we, we didn't need the blue cap after all I still don't remember what's inside that that other picture. The 
Bamboo. Oh, stop. Snap. Oh. Ah. Gotta do a long jump to get enough momentum. Then, okay. Then I just gotta try not to fall down. I deserve a one up for my trouble. Here we go! Yahoo! Yahoo! Uh, okay, yeah, there's still one more for it. But I don't remember what it entails. So let's just check it out. Is it eye to eye in the secret room? Yeah, the secret room is probably the one, uh, the one on the top of the house that I can't get in without the blue cap. Okay. Uh, I think that's it for for the first level. Remember, there are no stars outside that I can get yet. Right, yeah. Then. Okay. Four castle star for far. One dollar. One fortress. Jolly Roger. Yeah, two stars in this level where I need, where I still need the the cap switches. I got both the secret stars there. there. Yeah. Okay. You ready to face? Bowser. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. And yeah, Bowser also has... There are red coins in Bowser's uh, area, but... I don't think there are, you need 100 coins as well. It's still freaky, you see. Oh, there's the princess. Let's go get her. And it's Bowser. Ah, psych. Wahaha, you step right into my trap. Just as I knew you would. I warn you, friend. Watch your step. What is it with video game villains giving you hints? <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Are there a hundred stars in this course as well? I don't. I don't remember. A hundred stars. I mean, a hundred coins. I know there are, yeah, there are red coins, but I don't think there's, oh, I don't think there's uh, more than that. Another cool musical track that often, often gets remixed. I might, I might have to get the red coins and then leave and then uh, come back, <laughs> go through the course again. But yeah, I want to leave the, the Bowser, the battle with Bowser for last. First, first get the coins. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> very tricky to, very dangerous to walk on a platform made of a pyramid. I mean, I could go, go across this. I could, I could go across the seesaws, but I can also just walk up over here. You get on one up, and I think there's a red point over there. Ah! Uh, still, still really dangerous. Oh, I can't see. Pull from memory where the remaining red coins are. Yeah, there's one there. Oof. Oh, one of 
over there too. Okay. Go up carefully. And then go around quickly. Ah, yes. Okay. Not to fall down. Okay, now I can use it. Take the sea salt. Yeah. Once again, ground pound instead of a mom jump. I think the last coin is upstairs. Up there. Shot. Mm. Mamma mia. Mm. I'll get you next time. Yeah, yeah. Laugh it up. Wait, what, where? Where did I? Somewhere around here, right? No, I, don't think, I don't think they will be so mean as to put it above a box that you can destroy. Ow. Yeah, maybe, have, maybe I should have a look around. Wasn't it in the middle of that spinning part? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I remember. No. Huh. Ah, I see it. Yeah. Yeah, I completely forgot that this made blocks appear here as well. Ah! Okay, there you go. Found the last one. <laughs> yeah, see, sometimes my memory fails me. There is another Bowser level where the coin is like right next to the the, the bike to get to Bowser. So it might have mixed them up. Hang on. 
Yeah, this is also another way you can get get this coin. Okay, and you can also get this by just dropping down here, maybe? Ah, yep. There it is. Uh, apparently I can survive this. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, yes, you gotta, you gotta cooperate with the camera a little bit. Sometimes it doesn't... Sometimes it doesn't uh, pick the right, the best angles. Gotta work with the camera, I should say. Here we go! Whoa, another power star! As Mario gains more courage from the power of the castle. Do you want to save? You bet! Oh, cool, I don't have to leave and come back. Okay. Let's go. Time to fight Bowser. Pretty big. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool isn't here. Wahaha. <laughs> Go ahead. Just try to grab me by the tail. And once again, thanks for telling me exactly what to do. <laughs> You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here. Never. Ha. Huh. Cool boss music too. Nice showdown. Nice that his fires turn into coins. You can, if you get hurt. I'm just gonna, uh, just gonna throw him blindly. Let's see if I if I get lucky. Yeah, as a kid, I always heard "So long, good Bowser." I never, I never heard the other thing. <laughs> I mean, I know people use, probably just don't actually think he says so long, gay Bowser. He's just, he's just, just a me internet meme. But they still re removed this from the from the newer version, and now he just says bye bye. But yeah, I I, I think I, I even as a kid, I, I didn't make sense for him to say that. I, I just assumed that it was his uh, Italian accent, just like just like how he says. Just like how he says, it's a me, Mario. It's so long, good, Bowser. <laughs> Charles Martinet trying to do a, an Italian accent. Right? <laughs> okay, let's try to aim this time. Still pre pretty cool that you, in order to do that, you had to actually rotate the joystick around. Made you made you feel like you you were actually swinging Bowser by the tail. If you stopped, he, he slowed down. So you had to keep going until he pressed the button. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, almost. Cool showdowns. Hey, <laughs> Mario jumping a little bit. So just to show how heavy Bowser is. I mean, I know that there's a the easy way to do it is by standing next to a bomb and having him uh, grab him by his tail right next to it. But yeah, I want to I want to try and do it from the middle. I mean, yeah, this is like this uh, movement paralysis that uh, jumping does to Mario. It's kind of a, reminding me of the in Mario Three, where uh, large enemies would stomp on the ground and cause Mario to uh, not be able to move for a second. Too late. Unless, unless Mario jumps at the same time, that then he doesn't get affected by the stomp. Get some coins. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So long, 
Ah, I keep missing the timing. Get over here. In the middle, come here. Ah. Okay, give me more points. Just stomping around. I mean, his, his low poly version kind of looks a little pudgy, I should say, but so he does look better in the newer incarnations of, of Mario games, uh, Mario Galaxy, he looked pretty cool. But yeah, this Bowser looks a little silly with the low poly. Got it. Boom. I never noticed the size of the explosion, that's big. Uh -huh. I was a bit careless. This is not as I had planned. But I still hold the power of the stars, and I still have Peach. Bahaha, <laughs> you'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this. Later. Yeah, in a couple of weeks when we when I, we come back to this game. Yeah. Here we go! Bowser in the Dark World. Phew. There you go. Yeah. I mean, first floor, not quite clear, but uh, as much as I can. And yeah, I think if you try going, uh, opening this, uh, the key doesn't fit. Maybe it's for the basement, yeah. <laughs> you don't have the tower key yet, the top floor key yet. But yeah. I should do it for now. Ah. <sighs> been yeah over three hours so yeah i'll be coming back to this game uh not not exactly two weeks from now but uh because yeah next thursday will be uh I'll, I'll switch around platformers and first person shooters so next thursday will be a first person shooter but uh two thursdays from now it will be i'll be coming back to this and then we'll tackle the levels in the basement the desert and the fire and the maze Actually, yeah, I don't, I don't remember if there are as many levels in the basements. Oh yeah, the 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 wa another water level, I think. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how many. Mario, wake up! I'm talking here. <laughs> What's he doing? Uh, but yeah, let's see. Next, next, uh, my next stream should be this Sunday. I'll be coming back to Warcraft 2. Or I should finish it. Should be be finishing it close to the end of the orb campaign so uh and yeah next tuesday i'll be coming back to the journeyman project 2 very in, very much enjoying that game i can't wait to come back but yeah if you like these kinds of retro style games or retro games in general make sure to follow the channel I'm always playing games from my childhood re recapping what it was like to play them as a kid and sometimes playing games that I knew about it in, during my childhood, but never got to play them. So, but always been curious about, like the Journeyman Project. Yeah, that, that's a game I've known about for a while now, but never played. So yeah. Hope you guys had fun. Thank you very much for watching. Mario. <laughs> Wake up. Okay, we'll let it. We'll let him sleep for a, for a while while <laughs> while we while we wait for next time. But yeah. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!